Okay, with this question, we're going to be dealing with uh, marginal utility examples. We're going to be given a few different scenarios, and then we're going to determine whether they uh, deal with increasing um, marginal utility, diminishing marginal utility, or constant marginal utility. Uh, this question is taken from Krugman Wells, second edition, um, chapter 10, which is the rational consumer chapter, question one. So it asks, uh, for each of the following situations, decide whether AL has increasing constant or diminishing marginal utility. So part A um, asks or gives, um, the more economics classes AL takes, uh, the more he enjoys the subject, and the more classes he takes, the easier each one gets, making his enjoyment of each additional class um, even more than the one before. Um, well, first off, we should think about well, what is marginal utility. So marginal utility is the additional utility generated by consuming one additional unit of a good or service or doing one additional thing of something. Um, so in, in most situations in economics, we assume diminishing marginal utility. That is, um, each additional thing you consume, although you do get some added value from it, the idea is that each additional one you get a bit less of additional value than the previous one. Uh, and then here's some questions where uh, we're probably going to go through the gamut of increasing, diminishing, and constant. Um, so back to Al's economic classes. So here with A, um, part A, Al definitely has increasing marginal utility from these economic classes. So each additional class adds more enjoyment than the previous one. So that implies that each additional class adds more to the total utility than the previous, which is the definition of increasing marginal utility. Uh, moving on to B. B asks, um, so Al likes loud music. In fact, according to him, the louder the better. For each time he turns the volume up a notch, he adds five utils, uh, so like units of utility, to his total utility. Um, first off, what is utils? Um, utils is this kind of abstract um, concept or measurement that we have for utility. Utility uh, takes into account not just like monetary value, but just the, the value that people derive from things, you know, like pleasure, um, I don't, it could be love, it could be appreciation. Um, everything that someone might want or like from something is kind of encapsulated in this unit of utils. Um, so uh, this problem where Al likes more music, um, and then each time he turns up the vo volume one notch, he adds five utils to his total utility, is an example of constant marginal utility. So since each unit of volume, um, a unit of volume being a turn up a notch in volume, adds a constant amount of utility. So each turn of the no volume notch adds five utils. Um, so this is constant marginal utility, and his uh, marginal utility is constant at five utils. Okay, moving on to part C. So Al enjoys watching reruns of old, the old sitcom Friends. He claims that these episodes are always funny, um, but he does admit that the more he sees of an episode, the less funny it gets. So this is an example where Al has a diminishing margin utility for episodes of Friends. Um, diminishing margin utility is defined as um, a situation in which consumption of an additional unit of a good or service um, yields less additional utility than the previous one, since that's exactly what's happening here. Uh, so each additional episode is less funny to Al than the last one he watched. Uh, his marginal utility is declining. So this is, by definition, you know, diminishing marginal utility. This is pretty much usual for most goods and services. Um, part D. Part D uh, gives a situation, Al loves toasted marshmallows. The more he eats, however, the fuller he gets and the less he enjoys each additional marshmallow. And there's a point uh, at which he becomes sated. So beyond this point, each marshmallow uh, actually makes him worse off um, than rather than better. Um, so Al here has diminishing marginal utility for marshmallows. Um, the first several marshmallows, Al's utility increases. Um, but just like with episodes of Friends, each additional marshmallow is less fat satisfying than the last. So once again, each additional unit of consumption yields less additional utility than the previous, um, which is the very definition of diminishing marginal utility. Um, and then in fact, it says that total utility eventually begins to decline as Al eats uh, you know, too many marshmallows. Cool. So with this, we, you know, we went through a few examples of uh, margin utility to think about whether for an individual consumer, this person, Al, has increasing, decreasing, or constant margin utility. Um, in general, one of the kind of foundations of 
um, thought is this principle of diminishing marginal utility, uh, which we found in part C and D. Um, principle of diminishing marginal utility is that even though you get some, you know, let's say big jump in utility from the first few units of consumption, you know, so the friends or marshmallows, the idea is that each additional one is going to satisfy you less. Um, you know, in fact, A and B uh, were examples of uh, diminishing marginal utility with A and then constant marginal utility for B, but, you know, arguably if you kind of kept going with them, you would probably find um, diminishing marginal utility. So take with music. Um, you know, the louder and louder it gets. There's going to be this point where his ears are burning, so clearly there's going to be this point where his utility is going to be decreasing as it gets louder and louder. Um, so even though, you know, the answer to this is constant marginal utility, when you think about it in practical practical sense, this is probably a case where it's going to be diminishing marginal utility eventually. Um, and then with A, you know, it's increasing marginal utility. Well, I won't say anything about that, but the, the idea is that the in, in most cases there's this principle of marginal utility that it's not always true, but it's true in so many cases that it kind of serves as a foundation of uh, economics and in particular, you know, um, when we think about consumer behavior. Okay, so examples of marginal utility, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.